Hello guys, we got Seamus, I think is how you pronounce your name. He has been watching videos since 2018, which is pretty cool. Three years. And uh, he loves the content, and he wants me to do a pack opening of, uh, obviously, Netherrealm Elder God Pack. One of the best packs in the entire game, definitely. When you see it in a store and you have a bunch of souls and you can't wait any longer. Usually, I mean, let, let's be honest, most discounted packs in this game are not going to be as good as this pack. Unless it's like something like Guardian pack or uh, Dark Fate pack or some other already good pack on a discount. Then, like, if Ronin pack came at a discount of, like, for example, 330 souls, I would still not open it. I would rather, much rather open Elite Netherrealm Elder God pack. So it's a pretty safe bet. It, it gives you the highest value. I think it's around 26% chance to get a diamond for 450 souls, which is insane. And we have 12,000 souls, so let's get a bunch of diamonds. First of all, I want to check out the collection. Let's see. Wait. Wait a minute. Huh? This is... how... Okay, I'm having some flashbacks. I just recorded another pack opening. Well, let me restart the game. I, I, I'm, I might be just bugging out. This is... This is insane, guys. Check out the previous pack opening that I recorded. We... Uh, that was exactly the same setup. There was Cabal and Jade, the only two maxed out diamonds in Fusion X. MK11 Raiden was at Fusion 8 and we maxed him out in that video. That was insane. And then the next, hi the most highest fused diamond was a Strike for Scorpion. What? Th there is just no way. Two pack openings from two completely different people in the same day, recording in the same session, had the same top three diamonds at the same fusion and pretty much the same level. His rating was, I think, level 43. How is this even possible? That is some... That is some... In and if, okay, if we pull two MK11 ratings in this pack opening, I'm just gonna lose it. There is just no way, right? There is just no way. Alright, let, let's, let's get into it. Let's get some good diamonds. From 12,000 souls, uh, I should get at least five, six diamonds. Six diamonds, that's my... That's my prediction. Let's go. Let's get some good ones. And uh, I'm gonna pick... Circle of Shadow Quan Chi. If we get Quan Chi, I'm gonna double the amount of star coins, so it's gonna be 1,000. If we pull two MK11 Raidens, it's gonna be 2,000. I'm not even kidding. That's gonna just blow my mind if we pull two MK11. And again, we're gonna get a bunch of... Uh, I'm, I'm just... I'm literally having flashbacks right now. What is happening? I mean, I know she's one of the most highest chances uh, characters. No, is she actually? I, I need to check. I've pulled like I've pulled her like seven times in the previous spec opening out of like. Are you serious? Are you si are you gonna? <sighs> I'm just gonna be losing star coins, I guess. What the hell? I just, I just knew it. I just knew it. This is one of the best diamonds in the game, guys. Inside Circle of Shadow. If you have Circle of Shadow team, this is one of the, like, all the best configurations of Circle of Shadow's team is gonna have Circle of Shadow Quan Chi in it, so it's an incredible pull. Alright, good start, really good start. That was, that was amazing. Let's keep going. Let's pull two Raidens. I'm gonna, uh, it will be worth it. It's gonna be insane. Let's do it. Okay. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna m give you more Star Core. It's only one Quan Chi. That was the deal. That's it. No more. Two Quan Chi's in a row. I'll take it. This guy is. This guy needs to be high fusion because he needs to be able to tank uh, those special attacks that he reflects, and his vampirism is gonna be stronger. Like this is the guy who can definitely benefit from higher fusions. I'll take it. L give me third. And okay, if we get another one right now in a row. 2,000 star coins. Let's do this. Uh, that, that's impossible. There is there is just no way. 
Okay, it, it wasn't a Quinchy, but it is... Okay, Cabal is kind of garbage because he's already maxed out, so that's a waste of souls. But we just got three diamonds in a row. What the hell? Okay, if this is a, any diamond right now, if we get four in a row, extra 500. Let's do this. Wow, I feel like generous today. I already lost 2,000 in the previous video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a lot of this video as well, I feel like. There's no way we're getting four in a row, right? It's impossible. Yep. Thank you, Shinnek. Thank you for saving the economy. All right. And now we're gonna have a streak of useless gold cards. That is... Doesn't, doesn't really matter. I already got three out of six that I plan to get today, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Okay. Wow. That is a very good gold card. Super useful in any martial artist team. Definitely, definitely good pull. There is, there is literally no bad pulls in this pack, except Jax. Hopefully I'm not gonna get Jax. And again, maybe he's not that bad. Maybe I just need to give him a chance and try him with good gear and some good team. But he's, in my opinion, definitely the worst diamond in this pack. Alright, another Melina. I'm checking the chances. There's just no way. What are the chances? Let's take a look. Uh, we got gold, Vampire's Melina. 10%! But look, there's so many other gold cards that have 10%. I still haven't pulled a single Bone Shaper Shinnick. But I pulled like 9 Melinas from 2-pack openings I did. That is crazy. I mean, I'm not complaining. Melina is definitely better than Shinnick. But if they're maxed out, it doesn't matter. It's the same amount of souls. All right, let's let's pull a few more diamonds. Oh my God, are you serious? This this pack is cr this is crazy. Crazy stuff is happening today. Good stuff, but crazy stuff. All right, time for a diamond game. I'm I'm waiting. Give me give me rating. Oh come on, <laughs> the one that I didn't want to get. What's his passive even? Let's see. After Jax and his opponent uses a special attack, there's 30% chance that it'll and Jax gains in Villa. Oh yeah, this is... This is useless. It's... It's literally useless. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna wait for... A, I'm, I'm gonna dedicate a whole video to this guy, trying to make him good. And if I fail, that nothing can save him. But it's a diamond, so for collection purposes, it's good, I guess. All right, let's keep going. We, we got, I think it's number five, right? We already got five. I, I'm, I haven't even spent half of the souls yet. This pack is absolutely ridiculous. All right, that's a good gold. Oh, it's not even maxed out. So that's really good pull. All right, let's get one more diamond. So I'm, I'm gonna hit my quota in the first half of the pack opening. It's still possible to pull two Raidens. Oh my god, we're getting all the maxed out ones, come on. I mean, I can't complain. We're getting a lot of diamonds, so it's still worth it. But we pulled every single one except Raiden that we actually need. Come on, give me some Raidens. At least one Raiden. Oh my god! <laughs> Diamond number seven! Are you serious? Why are we pulling the next ones? Come on, such a waste! Such a waste of good luck! See, this is what happens. This is when you uh, what happens when you open packs like MK11 Diamond Pack and max out your MK11 team, and then beautiful pack like this c c comes and you're just wasting all these diamonds. Because you you max them out, your 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 collection is incredibly imbalanced. Not, I mean, nothing bad with it. It's probably gonna help your progression a lot, but just it, it hurts. It hurts selling these diamonds, guys. When especially when it's like pretty much the only ones that are maxed out. All right, we need to get a few more not maxed diamonds. Come on, we can do it. I think I sold like three diamonds already that, out of seven that I pulled. So we should pull two more unique diamonds and then I'll be happy. Come on. And at least one Raiden. That's gonna be awesome. 
I don't think we're gonna pull two. There is just no way. Wrong Raiden. At this point, I don't think it's possible to pull two MK11 Raidens. Well, I thought the same f for the previous spec opening, but I guess nothing is impossible. Let's go. Let's get some good stuff. Oh my god, now you give me Bone Shaper Shinnok. Okay. Just two more. There's like, I think 12 more packs to open. Maybe even 13 if we sell a bunch of golds. Come on, don't give me any more Jades or Cabals, please. That hurts my soul. I mean, I guess it's better than gold cards. At least you're getting some souls back. Oh, this one wasn't maxed. Okay. So Dark Raiden is a good pull, actually. Dark Raiden and Scorpion. Oh, look at this. L look at those coins. That is beautiful. Those coins are fantastic. I guess you can say the downside of this pack that it doesn't have any extra cards, it just has a character card, but honestly, this is not a downside. Most of those cards are useless anyway. Okay, and she's back now. Alright. Alright, last 10 packs, come on. Two diamonds, two unique diamonds out of 10 packs is nothing. We can easily do that. There is no doubt. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. But those Gwen Cheese in the beginning, oh, that just... That made up for everything. For all those duplicates. Let's pull some good Circle of Shadow characters. Let's pull a few of Liu Kang. Circle of Shadow Liu Kang, now. Close enough. Not really. All right. Oof. Come on, I need to pull two more two more good diamonds. Otherwise I'm not gonna be satisfied. Oh god. Okay. Whew, sold for 30 souls, that's sad. Oh my god! No! Why? We now sold four diamonds. What are the chances though? This is luckiest and unluckiest back opening at the same time. Which is ridiculous. It's like you're getting rare drops that you don't even want or need. Come on, just give me two of the non-max diamonds. No! <sighs> Ooh, maxed out Shinnok. Alright, we, we maxed out a bunch of gold cards. One. We, we maxed out one. All right, come on, let's do it. Oh my god, come on, four more packs. We have to pull something good. We have to pull something good. Four packs, two good diamonds, easy. There is still a chance. There is still a chance. If we get Dark Emperor Liu Kang or Spec Up Scorpion from the last two packs, it I think it's still gonna be worth it because I think those two are the best. Oh god, the best in this pack. What the hell? We, we started so good and now it's just. But if I get another Cabal or Jade by the end of this pack opening, I'm just gonna lose it. That's gonna be just so sad. Why? 
So effectively, there was only four useful diamonds in this whole opening from 12,000 souls. That's so bad. And five were sold. Oh my god, five diamonds were just sold. So we got nine diamonds out of 12,000 souls, which is so good. But only four of them were useful, which is so bad. That is so weird. <sighs> Guys, I think if you have two... I mean, it, it's not supposed to be like that. The chances to get those two were just only 8%. I don't know how to feel about it. It was still a decent pack opening, but it, the results are not satisfying at all, at all. But again, some people open could open 12,000 souls worth of Guardian pack and get like one diamond as well, so... I think it was decent. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. I don't know. You decide in the comments. Let me know if it was lucky or unlucky. I don't even know anymore. And thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.